Hello everyone and welcome to today's session on Content Delivery Network by IntelliPad. A Content Delivery Network or CDN is a group of geographically distributed servers that speed up the delivery of web content by bringing it closer to where users are. In this session, you will learn all about Content Delivery Network from scratch. So without further ado, let's start the session. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update from us. Hello and welcome to yet another video from IntelliPath. In this video, I will be talking about CDN. Let's take a look at our agenda. Firstly, we have what is a CDN. CDN stands for Content Delivery Network. Then we'll see how does CDN promote low latency. Then what are the benefits of CDN? What kind of content does CDN deliver and what is the need of CDN? Now let's move on to our first agenda that is what is a CDN? So CDN basically stands for Content Delivery Network. It is a collection of globally distributed servers that help in speeding up the web content delivery by bringing it closer to the user's location. It is an important part of any website and application that works online. There is a very high probability that all the content that we see today, be it images, videos, etc., is delivered using CDN. Well, CDN has a lot of benefits including performance, availability, and security. But one of its biggest advantages is low latency. So before we move forward and discuss the benefits of CDN, let us try to understand the meaning of low latency. Latency is said to be the delay between the request and delivery of the wanted content. In this era, everybody wants everything at the fastest pace possible. For that, the latency needs to be extremely low. Low latency means fast delivery of the requested content. Now let's see how does CDN actually promote low latency. CDN is a network of geographically distributed servers as we have already discussed. CDN is a network of geographically distributed servers as we have already discussed. These servers are named. Now let's give these servers a name. They are known as point of presence, that is POP, or even edge servers. So POPs cache and store the basic layout of your website, application, or generally any content, that is any static content. And when a re user requests for it, CDN servers load the content faster as it is being transmitted from a closer distance as compared to the original servers. All in all to say that it caches content in proxy servers that are located near to where the user is and hence reduces latency. Now let's take a look at the benefits of CDN. A considerable amount of the world's internet traffic is carried via CDNs. Let's see what are the benefits of CDN. Firstly, we have performance. Difference between a click that gives you immediate access to new content and a click that gives you a seven second wait while a page loads or a video buffer is called performance. Performance is mainly dependent on latency. Low latency gives high performance. Next up, we have availability. Even the most powerful servers are put to test when traffic levels reach millions of requests per second. Without a content delivery network, all of this traffic must be absorbed by the infrastructure of the content provider. This can result in failures and a negative end-user experience. CDN's widely distributed server infrastructure is meant to address these problems. Next, we'll talk about security. Given the ever-changing nature of the internet threat landscape, CDNs assist in the security of websites. CDNs safeguard content producers and consumers by mitigating a wide range of assaults so that delivery and availability are never jeopardized. Now let's move on to our next agenda that is what kind of content does CDN deliver? Before getting into this, let's try to understand the two types of content we have. We have static and dynamic content. Static content is the one that does not change at all no matter the time zone, audience, etc. And dynamic content might vary based on recommendations, location, etc. While on the other hand, static content is safe to be cached on a CDN. Nevertheless, it's, it is a good practice to cache content using CDN as the first layer of security and protect networks from malicious attacks. As CDN caches content to store it, something that changes based on various factors should not be stored in CDN 
because it would only confuse the end users. While on the other hand, static content is completely safe to be cached on a CDN. Nevertheless, it is a good practice to cache content using CDN as they act as the first layer of security and they protect networks from malicious attacks. With that, let's move on to our last agenda, that is the need of CDN. Now, CDN has acted like the hidden backbone of the internet for years. It has delivered all sorts of content at a quick pace and that too at a large scale. Honestly, without CDN's ability to copy and store data from the main servers, we would be waiting hours just to get the home page loaded of any website or application. And that's it for this video. Thank you. Just a quick info guys. If you want to make a career in cloud and DevOps, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification in cloud computing and DevOps by ENICT Academy IIT Roorkee and it is taught by IIT Roorkee professors and industry experts. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.